Good morning, second grade. It's Mrs. Munyon coming to you from my classroom. And today I'm going to be teaching you your phonics skill. The target that we're working on is the long vowel sound A, A, and the long vowel sound I, I. And we're going to be focusing on two spellings today. Excuse me, we're going to be focusing on one spelling for two sounds. And the spelling that we're going to be focusing on is the vowel blank E spelling. So silent E, magic E. We're going to be talking about words where the silent E on the end makes the vowel say its own name. So this is a review of a first grade skill. Let's take a look. Blend and read along with me. Here we go. Line one. Sound, buh. Now, if I write an A blank E and I say sound, you're going to say A because this E is signaling this A to say its own name. So, blend and hold. Bake. Bake. Sound, B. Sound, I. Blend and hold. Bye. Bike, sound, er, sound, a, blend and hold, race, race. Now, second grade, why is the sound for this C a soft C? This C is saying s instead of k. Now, why is that? Tell someone in the room with you. That's right. Did you say that that's a soft C because it's followed by an E? You're right. This letter E on the end has two jobs. It's signaling the A to say its own name, but it's also keeping the sound for this letter C a soft C, like S. Sound. Er. Sound. I. Blend and hold. Rice. Rice. Let's read line one, second grade. Bake, bike. Race, rice. Line two. Sound, s sound, puff. Sound, I. Blend and hold. Spice, spice. Sound, s sound, puff. Sound, a, blend and hold. Space, space. Sound, puff. Sound, I, blend and hold. Pile, pile. Sound, puff. Sound, A, blend and hold. Pale, pale. Let's read line two, second grade. Spice, space, pile, pale. Uh, pale is a homophone. There's two words that are pale, two different spellings and two different meanings. So pale can mean something that you maybe have at the beach with a little shovel and you dig in the sand and you, feel the, you fill the pail with shovel. But pale can also mean when your skin doesn't have much color, like when you're not feeling well. So do you know which pale this is? Turn and tell someone in the room. Yep, that's right. This is the pale that means my color isn't very good because I'm not feeling well. So uh, let's read line two. Spice, space, pile, pale. Okay, line three. Sound, tough. Sound. Um, I will tell you on this one, this is kind of an exceptional word. The sound for that A is the long A. So when I say sound, you can say A. So sound, A. Sound, S. Sound, T. And then there's an E on the end. This word is a little bit of a rule bender or breaker. This word is taste. So the reason that it's kind of a rule bender Bender or breaker is because this letter A, excuse me, gosh, this letter E is signaling through two consonants 
to tell the letter A to say its own name. So the word taste is exceptional. It's a rule breaker because this E actually has power enough to signal through two consonants instead of just one. The rule is almost always second grade, only one consonant like in the rest of these words. This one is kind of exceptional. Sound, fa, sound, I, blend and hold, fine, fine. Sound, pa, sound, er, sound, I, blend and hold, pride, pride. Sound, f, sound, o, sound, a. Blend and hold. Flame. Flame. Let's read line three. Taste. Fine. Pride. Flame. Line four. Sound. T. Sound. Er. Sound. A. Blend and hold. Trace. Trace. Now, what if I take the word trace and I add a letter D to the end? Do you know what my new word is? That's right, it's traced. So when we have a, um, a long vowel word that has an E on the end and we wanna make it past tense, we're only adding a letter D. Sometimes a teacher might say, drop the E and add ED or sometimes a teacher might say, just add a D. But when we have a base word like trace and we wanna make it past tense traced, it's only an ED on the end. Okay, um, sound, s, sound, t, sound, er, sound, I, blend and hold, stripe, stripe. What if I wanted to make this more than one? Like for example, on my shirt today, I have stripes. What letter or letters would I add to the end of stripe to make it more than one? Yep, I think you're right. Let's write it and see. We take the base word stripe and all we need to add to the end is a letter S. Were you right? Of course you were, you're smart. Okay, let's read line four. Trace, traced, stripe, stripes. Okay, here comes our sentence. The other, the other plane, the other plane left. The other plane left on. The other plane left on time. The other plane left on time. Let's check our sentence. Capital letter at the beginning. Check. Punctuation mark on the end. Check. Do you see the two words in that sentence that show our target skill for the week? Tell someone in the room what they are. There are two of them. I think I heard you say plane and time. And you are correct. Very good. Okay, second grade, that's it for our phonics target skill this morning. It's the sound for long A and long I when there's a silent E or a magic E on the end. Okay, see you next time. Keep reading.